Hi, it's Bev again with another video. And uh, first of all, I want to say to you guys, listen up. This video is about menopause and weight gain. So if you're not interested, just keep scrolling by, right? Okay, for you women, this is near and dear to us, right? Um, we want to know why does it happen and what the hell can we do about it? Now, I have to tell you, uh, me, when I was 60, you know, obviously I'd been through menopause and I was clinically obese. But I am now 74. What the heck happened? You know, if I can lose that weight, you can too. So let's figure out why it happened and what to do about it. Um, first of all, your weight is largely controlled by your hormones. Um, and those are regulatory biochemical substances. Um, and they are masterful adjusters of your metabolism. Um, so let's think about, um, I mean, this is not going to be an exhaustive list, but these are going to be the main hormones that are impacted by your age and therefore also by menopause, okay? So, firstly, hormones change during menopause, right? Estrogen drops, and estrogen you know, it gives you your sexual characteristics, Your bo it's good for bone health and all that stuff. But estrogen, oh my God, in terms of fat, when it's high, like when you're pregnant, you get fat. When it's low, like in menopause, you get fat, right? You can't win. So as soon as this one's off, you're gaining fat. But you can't do much about it, you know, unless you're guzzling, uh, you know, replacement hormones, which I never chose. My doctor said to do it, and I said, no way, I'm not taking that, you know, not natural. Um, so can't do anything about that. But these six that are also involved in weight gain after menopause, you can do something about them. So these arrows indicate insulin goes up, glucagon down, leptin down, ghrelin up, cortisol up, uh, human growth hormone down. So that's what happens to them in, in uh, menopause. So um, insulin and glucagon are metabolically, uh, are metabolic hormones and they're paired. So when one is up, the other one's down. And um, if you beat up on one, right? If you're gonna make your insulin high, glucagon is gonna come to the rescue it's going to drop, right? It's going to keep everything balanced. So insulin is fat storage. Uh-oh. And glucagon is your main retrieval uh, hormone. So if you want to retrieve fat, break it up and get rid of it. Whoa, that's not good if your glucagon is down, right? Um, uh, leptin and ghrelin are also paired when one is up, the other is down. These are signaling hormones. Um, this one signals when you're full, this one when you're hungry. Uh-oh, this one's up, this one's down. That's not good, right? This all happens after menopause. Cortisol and uh, human growth hormone. Cortisol is, um, and by the way, these are both metabolic hormones, right? which means they affect your metabolism. Um, uh what was I going to say? Cortisol is your main stress hormone. And this is your main, obviously, growth hormone. Now, um, a as, a, as a hormone, this is a catabolic hormone. So it's fat making. And this is an anabolic hormone, which means it is calorie burning, right? Uh-oh, it's down. This one's up. So we have a problem with these arrows. And we have to figure out how to change those arrows. Um, the other thing about growth hormone... You can't do anything about it. It begins to drop after you're in your 40s. We'll figure out how to deal with that over here. Um, and, you know, typically as you age, your physical activity is lowered, right? You're not as, uh, you know, you're not doing so many sports or whatever. Um, but you continue to eat in the same way as you did in your 20s or 30s. But what happens is you may be burning 15% more, uh, sorry, fewer daily calories than you did in your 20s. And um, what happens is um, you, you'll you gain 10 pounds a decade because of this. 
And that's what happened to me, right? 40 pounds overweight. Um, so, and I should mention insulin. I said it was fat making. When insulin makes a ton of fat high, cortisol's high, cortisol comes to the rescue. It says, well, I can deal with that fat. And it just puts it on your waistline. So these guys all work together against weight loss. Okay. So um, they, the hormones, I said it wasn't uh, an exhaustive list, but the main ones, they work together to increase or decrease a number of things. Your appetite, um, your fat storage, your calorie burning rate, and indeed your metabolic rate. Okay. So um, they, they, what I want to say is they directly impact your body fat distribution. Um, now you will not feel changes in hormones um, because it's biochemical. You're not going to feel any change in your biochemistry or your metabolism. I mean, you can, you can notice when you're hungry or not on these signaling ones, but the metabolic hormones, you're never going to feel. Um, but it's all related um, to your decisions. So let's figure out how you can change your decisions, your lifestyle, your dietary choices, your exercise, your sleep patterns, your daily stress. All of this is maybe going to help control the changes in some of these arrows, okay? Um, and you're going to see a pattern here. So if you want to bring your insulin down, stop eating processed foods, stop um, eating high glycemic index carbs, and eat more veggies. And you want to bring your glucagon back up, right? So eat protein with every meal. Eat a lot more dietary fiber, and you can only get fiber in carbs, okay? So don't give up fiber, you need that for your glucagon. Now, if you want to build up your um, I'm full, this, sorry, this leptin, don't eat a lot of sugar and sweets. Don't eat a lot of trans fats. You've seen my videos on that. And get more sleep. You know, aim for seven hours a night. Um, and ghrelin, you want to bring that down. So don't eat high fructose corn syrup. That's all that, uh, you know, the food industry uses it. Um, eat a lot more dietary fiber. Get a lot more sleep. Cortisol, remember, it puts it at your waistline. So you want more sleep, less stress, and don't starve yourself. You know, I used to do that in my 50s. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm just going to quit eating. I'm embarrassed to talk about it. I mean, I you know, when you have a family, they don't really notice when you're a mother what you're doing. Like I could not eat and nobody would even notice, right? Even my husband. And uh, I was getting fatter and fatter. Anyway, don't starve yourself because you're going to stress out your body. Um, human growth hormone, strenuous weightlifting. That's what I did. I joined a gym at 60. I got myself a personal trainer. Oh my God, I loved it. And get more sleep. So what you see here, is kind of a pattern. You know, if you want to control your weight after menopause, you have four areas in which to do it. More sleep, less stress, better diet, and more exercise. Just do it. You know, if it worked for me at 60, why the hell wouldn't it work for you? You know, you're no different. So I talk about this, you know, all that I learned um, you know, losing my weight in my book, Are You Fat Making or Calorie Burning? So uh, if you like this video, then you're going to love the book. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.